you know, I'd, we were sort of watching from from afar about the quake went down. Can you just talk us through those those minutes there? You were kind of preparing for a, a game on the bench, and then how did it all unfold? Yeah, um, you know, I was pretty shocked when uh, when Renz gave me the tap on the shoulder saying that I was starting. Um, you know, unfortunate for Quay too. Um, you know, I, I know what would, would have been a tough call for him, but um, yeah, I, I was just um, just yeah took it, grabbed it by um, by the horns, and um, just tried to do my best for the team. I heard that Nick White immediately sort of came over to you, I guess, mm. to sort of I don't know reassure you or get you. No, nah, he know. just he just got around me. He was like, mate, yeah. how good? Oh, okay. it's just, yeah. It just felt real normal, way eh? because obviously me and Whitey, you know, played together at Brumbies, so um, yeah, felt normal out there with um, with good old good old Whitey. What's the mental process you go through preparing first to come off the bench, thinking you'll have to watch from the sidelines, work, mm. work out how the game's going, and then all of a sudden you're starting? Yeah, well, to be honest, I felt a lot more relaxed before um, before I, I was told I was going to start. Eh? So, so I think that kind of actually helped, to be honest. So, you know, I was prepping for the game. I'll, you know, obviously I'll go over my knowledge and my detail, and then, um, you know, hoping that I get you know 10 15 20 minutes and then you know as you said you know get the tap on the shoulder saying I'm starting so um, yeah I'm just you know it took me a while to find my groove in the game but you know at the end of the day I'm just happy we got that winner and the second half in particular um, mm. you and the back line really sort of found some flair uh, how did that all unfold in Dave talked about winning the collisions yeah. uh, how did you find that whole context going on? yeah as you said you know Ren spoke to us um, at half time and an attack just being more direct and being more dominant with our carry and clean which um, as you said um, gave us nice nice clean ball for the likes of Samu Lenny and Marika especially to, to get the ball in their hands um, it's good it's pleasing to know that you know when, a, when we get told a message half time we can do it in the second half and um, you know in saying that, though, we were far from perfect, um, and we, you know we've got to be a lot better coming up next weekend. Your goal kicking, you know, a perfect performance. You must have been, yeah, really thrilled that you were able to. Because at the end of the day, it actually, you know, it was really crucial to the scoreline. I wouldn't say a perfect performance. Um, I'm just doing my best for the team, um, and with the goal kicks, I'm just, you know, trusting my my process. You know, no matter what circumstance I'm in, and um, yeah, I'm just happy, I'm just happy if I felt good off the boot. You kind of spoke after the Brumbies semi-final that you, yeah. you know, you sort of carrying that in terms of the, I guess, um, missing the, that drop kick. Yeah. But um, do you feel like you've learned from that? Like you obviously had a lot of pressure on you to kick those goals last night. Yeah, I feel like I'm learning every game. To be honest, I mean, I'm still so early in my career. Uh, I'm 22, and um, I'm taking learnings wherever I can. Um, I never want to be complacent. I always want to be w willing to learn, you know, off Quaid and Wazi, the Banks coach and everyone. So, yeah, obviously that semi-final um, sucked. <laughs> and, um, you know, my, my professional rugby career has been a roller coaster at the moment. And um, you know, it's pleasing to know that, you know, it, there's, a, there's a bright side <laughs> at the end of the day. You mentioned that kind of the roller coaster element. You came in really young, been in and out of the team. How much does it mean that Dave has that faith in you, naming on the bench and then no qualms to you just throw you into the starting team. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah it's pleasing to know. Right? Um, Dave's uh, he's an awesome coach and he's a good man too. Um, you know, I've got full faith in him and uh, be, you know have full belief in everything he says. And um, you know, I'm I'm just very privileged that um, that that he backs me. But in saying that too, I've got to put the work in for him to do that. So um, yeah, Renz is an awesome coach and um, yeah, you are confident mm -hmm. that. that Test level now, like you've, you've got a number of caps under your belt. You feel like even like last night, under those circumstances, just confident to go and do your job. Yeah, well, I think every game I've played for Shelly so far has involved the red card or yellow card. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, I'd say I, I'd probably take some confidence out of that, but um, at the same time, I won't be complacent either. Just s sit on my bum and, and you know, applaud, applaud it. Um, because I know I've got to be a lot better, especially in that first half, to, to put the team into a better position. But um, yeah, it, it's pleasing to know that um, you know that I have what it takes to, to put in the performance like that. I imagine Darcy's a really good mate of yours. So yeah. Feeling? Yeah, I feel for Swain. Yeah. Um, after the game, he was pretty he was pretty gutted. But um, 
he seems he seems like he's in good spirits this morning, which is nice. I gave him a big old cuddle um, to, to cheer him up. So, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens there. Just on that, I mean, as you sort of touched on that, it's been now a couple of games now you've gone down foot to 14 and somehow found a way to win. Is that, having gone through that so many times before that France series and before, does that just fill you with confidence that even down a man you can still get over a, what was a really strong England side? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that happened you know, with Marika last year against France and happened last night with Swainy. And, um, you know, it just shows the, the character of the group, I guess. You know, the rugby wasn't pretty, but, um, you know, at the end of that, we just rolled up, rolled up our sleeves and stuck in for, for the mate next year inside, you, inside and outside you. So, you know, it's pleasing to know that we can get a result even though with 14 or 13 men. What do you make of the England attack? Eddie Jones was saying last night, it's not quite clicking. They're trying to do different things. They've got two playmakers mm. there. How did you assess what was coming at you? There was a lot of kind of out-the-back plays. Yeah. Um, I think it's um, I think it's a good combination they have to be honest with uh, Marcus Smith and, and Owen Farrell. Um, it, it's pretty hard to defend at times. To be honest, it, it stresses stresses us out wide on, on the edges and defensively we have a, we have a good look at ourselves and knowing that we've got to be a lot better again heading into this weekend. Um, but man, I thought their, their attack was pretty sharp to be honest. And I think it has been a bit harsh there. So a turn to Suncorp, so then you guys have I think won last seven or eight. Now that you have that sort of advantage of being one nil up, does it just give you further confidence that you can almost try and close the series out and stuff like that? Yeah, but you know, as I said before, we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves. Um we know it's a three game series and you know, we won the first one, so we'll park that and um, you know, tomorrow we will review and preview the game thoroughly and then um yeah, we'll we'll put our put our best foot forward to put in a result in Suncorp, which we you know, we love playing at. He still looks quite ginger on his foot, like his ankle, sorry, calf. He's yeah. like, sort of limping and still a little bit. And he, yeah. Like, is he like that? Quite a family traveling to um, Sydney. You guys are good there or not? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. um, oh, I'm, no, I'm no physio. <laughs> um, and Quade knows his body more than um, more than anyone. So um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine heading into this weekend. But um, yeah, just have to wait and see. Just letting those couple of tries in at the end in a funny way is that kind of mm. maybe worked to your advantage. You guys are disappointed with the way you finished, you know what I mean? Like you won't kind of take your head out of the clouds if, if they were at, at, at any point. You know, yeah. Second test. Yeah, well, I'm real definitely disappointed on, on how we let those late two tries in because um, the scoreboard would have, um, um, you know, would have looked a lot, lot nicer. But yeah, we, we got to clean that up too, um, obviously. Me trying to go for that intercept didn't help either with that yellow card. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at that and, um, you know, defensively and, and we'll, we'll be better. Happy guys. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you very Thanks much. Appreciate it, Tom. Thanks, guys.